you and I are called to trust God. Now, my own perspective on trusting the Lord is that I don't need to have all the answers because I know the one who knows all the answers. I don't need to know what the plan is because I know the planner. I don't need to know the why if I know the one. I don't need to know the how because I trust him. Someone who has set their heart to trust and believe in the Lord can never be broken. And what I mean by that is, a believer who has encountered Jesus, a believer who has been truly transformed by the power of God, you cannot uproot that type of person, nor can you shake them. And I believe this is to be the case because the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 to 8, the Amplified Translation reads, Blessed with spiritual security is the man who believes and trusts in and relies on the Lord and whose hope and confident expectation is the Lord. For he will be nourished like a tree planted by the waters that spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear the heat when it comes, but its leaves will be green and moist and it will not be anxious and concerned in a year of drought, nor stop bearing fruit. A believer who has set their heart to trust in Jesus is spiritually secure. That means you aren't vulnerable to attack. It doesn't make you immune because we all fall under attack from the enemy at some point, but you're not vulnerable. You're not exposed. Let me put it this way. Think of a house. A house where all of the windows have been left open. The front door is wide open. The back door is wide open. There are no curtains, no blinds, but there is plenty of valuable material inside. That's the picture of a person who is not spiritually secure. They are open for attack from the kingdom of darkness because their trust is in everything but God. But you see, to be a believer who really trusts in Jesus Christ, a believer who really believes the word of God and declares that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world, that person is secure. The Bible says in Psalm 37, verses 3 through 6, Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him, and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. I believe that God is pleased when we trust him to such an extent that we can say whatever awaits me in the future, I'm facing it with Jesus. Whatever comes against me, I'll be protected by Jesus. And here's the thing about faith and trust in the Lord. A lot of times, you'll have to walk with God without knowing 